Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay, we have y minus 1 squared equal to 2y squared. Okay, so if you have any problem trying to expand, please hold on and learn, okay? And um, just as we can see, because we have the highest power of 2, we should be expecting two different solutions, right? Okay, let's go. Now, I would like to bring this to the left and take this to the right. So if I do that, I'll have 2y squared, which will be equal to y minus 1 squared. Now, somebody will be thinking, now that I've you know, changed their position, why are they not changing their sign? You don't have to, okay? Because if A is equal to B, then B should be equal to A. That's what I did over there. Now, let me continue with this. So we have 2Y squared, which should be equal to, from here, we're going to have Y minus 1 in two places, Y minus 1. So that from there again, 2Y squared, will be equal to y times y that will be y squared then y times one i mean y times negative one will give us negative y then negative one times y will give another negative y then negative one times negative one will give positive one right okay i think it's clear enough then we have two y squared here which will be equal to Okay, this will be equal to y squared minus 2y plus 1. Now, the next thing I will do is trying to bring everything to the left. So, I have 2y squared minus um, y squared. Okay, this becomes plus 2y then minus 1 equal to 0. Now, 2y squared minus 1y squared will give y squared. Then, plus 2y minus 1, which will be equal to 0. And this is now a quadratic equation because of the, because of the highest power of 2. And now, for me to deal with this, I will use the formula method. For the formula, my a will be 1, b is 2, and c is equal to minus 1. If you're thinking, how did I get the a, b, c? a is the coefficient of y squared, b is the coefficient of um, y, and c is the constant, which is minus 1. The formula is y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2a. The next thing is to substitute into the formula so that y will be equal to, in place of minus b, I will have minus 2. Plus or minus, we have 2 squared minus 4. a is 1 multiplied by c, which will be minus 1. Then the whole of this will be over 2 times a, which is 1. And then if I continue, then y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Then I have 2 squared, that will be 4, right? Then minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 will give plus 4. So that the whole of this will be over 2. Okay, I want to show all the steps. Y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Then I put this together. I have 8. And this is over 2. Take another step. Y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Then I have square root of 4 times 2. Because I can simplify 8. I mean root 8. The whole of this will be over 2. If we continue, then y will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then multiply by root 2. 
so that the whole of this will be over 2. Now, do you know that I can equally split this? So I have y equal to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 2. Okay, I have not changed anything from there. Now, this will go there. So we have y to be here we have minus 1 plus or minus then this goes there and we will be having what we are going to be having um we have um two okay root two over there and then how do i deal with this further do you know that y here is equal to minus one okay plus root two or minus one minus root two so from here now we have the two solutions which is y1 equal to minus 1 plus root 2 or y2 y2 which is equal to minus 1 minus root 2 but then i want to check okay i want to check to know which of these will satisfy the given equation these are the solutions that we have and the original equation is y minus 1 squared which is equal to 2y squared now i want to try with the first solution so in place of y now i'm going to have um minus 1 plus root 2 then i have minus 1 again and then the whole of this will be squared then on the right hand side with this be equal i'm going to have 2 into y alone is um what is y again minus 1 plus square root of 2 right then i square this i want to see if i'm going to have the same thing on both sides okay so from here we have um minus 2 plus square root of 2 squared because minus 1 minus 1 will give minus 2 then this comes then on the right let's see what i'm going to have on the right what do i have remember that i cannot just um i can't just mod open this bracket because of this um because of um the bracket here because of the power rather so i will have to do it in this way we have 2 there, then here we have minus 1 plus um, square root of 2, then I have it in another place, minus 1 plus square root of 2, okay? Then here again we are going to have the same thing, we have minus 2 plus square root of 2 in two places, we have um, minus 2, let me write as well plus um, square root of 2 no square again right because I've already expanded it in two places now let's go down remember let me write it again on the right we have 2 into minus 1 plus square root of um, 2 then I have um, minus 1 plus square root of 2 okay now let us multiply so to multiply this, we have um, this times this will give um will give us what four right? Remember I told you if you don't know how to expand, please hold on and learn. Minus two times minus two is this. Then this times this will give minus two root two. Then this times this another minus two root two, and then this times this will give us plus two. This is what we have on the left hand side now. Then on the right, okay, let me be done with this first. So from here, we have 4 minus 4 root 2, then plus 2. Put these two together, so we have 6 minus 4 root 2. So this is what we have on the left-hand side. Now let's go over to the right-hand side. We have 2 here, then minus 1 times minus 1 will give us 1 then plus minus 1 times this will give minus root 2 then this times this will have another minus root 2 then plus if you multiply this you have 2 
then we have two outside closes open brackets then we have one okay what did i get we got minus one times this we get this then this times this okay this is actually negative okay so we are going to have negative root 2 plus uh, minus root 2 will give us negative 2 root 2 then we have plus 2 close this now we are going to have 2 1 plus this will give us some um, 3 then we have minus 2 root 2 close this remember I can open this right if I do I'm going to have 6 minus 4 root 2 okay and this is what we had on the left hand side the same thing so this means that the first solution satisfies the given equation which is y1 equal to uh, minus 1 plus root 2 now you can try out the second solution yourself and see if it will satisfy this equation thank you for watching